Today, uh, we are doing a staycation at this boutique hotel called the Vagabond Club. Uh, it's a tribute portfolio hotel that is under the Marriott Bonvoy uh, hotel chain. And uh, it's, uh, it's actually a French inspired, it has got French inspired furnishing. So, uh, uh, it's actually done up by this award winning French designer by the name of Jack Garcia. We will now be going in to do the check-in formalities and in this video, we will be sharing with you our stay experiences as well as the facilities and amenities that the Club Vagabond has to offer. We are now in the hotel lobby. As you can see, there are some very over-the-top kind of furnishings like one quarter of an elephant over here that's painted in gold. And then behind me is like a golden tree with golden leaves. So it's all very OTT and then um, the check-in counter is really cute also. It's in the shape of a rhino. Yeah, and so um, as mentioned earlier, this hotel is actually conceptualized by an award-winning French designer. So the rooms are actually very Parisian as well. Later you will see for yourself. While we are waiting for the check-in formalities to be completed, we are actually given like two pieces of decoration form. So you will be staying with us for a total of one night, uh, yes. checking out tomorrow on the 20th, yeah? Yes, please. Okay, yes, I just need you to verify if all your details are right, and then your signature over here. Okay. Alright, so I also understand that you are our Platinum Elite guest. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your loyalty. As the Platinum member, you will be entitled to choose uh, two welcome benefits, mm -hmm. which is the breakfast, the a la carte breakfast, as well as uh, 1,000 bonus points. Mm, either of this, yes. is it? Yes, you have to choose one breakfast. Breakfast. Okay, can. Mm. So you also have the 4 p.m. late checkout tomorrow, yeah? Thank you. Okay, so I will be blocking a total of uh, 400 Singapore dollars okay. from your credit card. Okay. Thank you so much. We are almost done with the check-in formalities. They have accorded um, gym with the recognition of the platinum elite guests with Merit Bonvoy group of hotels. So uh, we are given like a late checkout until 4 p.m. and then there are two choices of welcome gift, namely the points and the breakfast. And we decided to settle for breakfast. So now all we are need all we are left to do is to wait for the room assignment and then we will be on our way to give you a room tour. I like this I miss this uh very over the top looking animation as well. It's like a montage of a lot of fancy stuff. We are very happy to inform our viewers that we have been given an upgrade to the Vagabond Suite. Um, so we were told that it's the only hotel room in this boutique hotel with a bathtub. And uh, apparently it's supposed to be one of its kind uh, the design is one of its kind in this hotel as well. So we will check it out now. It's 401 and it's over here. So the Vagabond Suite. The hotel has got this very um, mood lighting. Is it's this one, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's go Okay. Okay, going up to the Vagabond Suite. Once you come out from the staircase, right, and you tap the card, and it's already the room. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Vagabond Suite. Let me put down my belongings. Once you come in, there's a small area. Uh, behind Jim is where the cupboard is. Uh, so the wardrobe space where you have the mini bar as well as the bathrobe and then you the, on the light first, the switch is strictly over there it's very scary the, the painting <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, so you can see that there's an iron ironing board and then the bedroom slippers and then the bathrobes this is the mini bar with the Nespresso machine, the kettle, the coffee cups and saucer, and then the tea sachets, as well as the com condiments for the coffee and tea. Uh, An in-room safe as well. And then, yeah, so that's it for this area. There's a shoe mint over there. The bedroom slippers has got like red rims around it. So that looks kind of like cool. And this is the fridge. 
huge. It's huge and it's empty, which means that if you want to stay here, you can actually pile up with all your goodies, uh, wines especially. And then, <gasps> oh, this is another one. Wow. And they cater this. The Pilsner by, why is this brewery again? I can't remember. <laughs> the one that we don't like. Yeah. <laughs> and then there are beers. I don't know if it's complimentary though. We will check with them later. Okay, but there's a bottle of white wine there. Ooh. Yay. Okay, uh, let's go to the living space first. So this is the living space. Uh, as you can see, it's very over the top, right? The, for the decorations and the art pieces. It's like uh, an art gallery actually. So uh, this is where you can actually take a seat. So there's a very nice sofa for you to lounge in while you are watching TV. So there's a nice big TV in front of me. And this is the remote control. And then uh, lots of artifacts as well as art pieces. Let's see what's behind this. Oh, so it's actually the toilet. Um, so this is the shower. There's a rain shower area. And then, yeah. And then this is the, just one of the wash basin. And the rinse cup is very artsy looking as well. Yes, and their amenities are all very fancy, fully packaged. Yeah, so vegetable soap, they have shampoo and conditioner by Atro. And then there are like Ampers, fresh supplies of towels. And the hair dryer is conveniently located here. So it's already attached to the power source. You just need to withdraw it and then Can you use it. Oh! Wow! It looks powerful, right? Okay. So, let's... So, these are all the amenities. The vanity kit, and then the toothbrush, toothpaste. And this is the porcelain throne. Oh. Is there a bidet? No bidet. Yep, yeah, no and bidet. Where is the light? Um, let me just check. Ah, I haven't been to this room yeah. before, so I'm not sure. Okay, mm. and then um, I believe that is the bedroom. So, so yes, this is the bedroom. So you can see the bed. It looks like a queen size bed, right? Yeah, and then <laughs> there's like a lot of natural light because we are like in the attic, and then um, they actually have this uh window panels to light the natural light shines in so that's great and uh, on this side is the tv a smaller one but you can still watch tv in the comfort of your bed and there are bedside switches over here so there's a universal power outlet that's also there's no usb power outlet though and you can control all the switches from here there's even an exhaust fan yeah, and then um, fresh drinking water. And over here is another part of the mini bar where they have all the hot liquor. I like their glasses, it's very nice. Especially the wine goblets, it looks really cool and exquisite. Yes, and also on this side is the work working desk. So you have a very retro looking phone and um, a retro looking uh, radio as well uk power outlets that is over here and then inside this cabinet nothing there's also a chair over here for you to take a seat and there's a bathtub as mentioned this is the only uh, room in vagabond club that has got a bathtub and there's also one wash basin here, so there's one here and one over there. We don't need to fight to use the restroom. I believe this is where the standing shower area is. Yes. And then... Can't find the switch, right, to on. Yeah, I really don't know where is the switch. I'm very sorry. Can you open the, the other side for me? Okay. Yeah, and this is the porcelain throne. Yes, and yeah, so there are like 
two wash basins and two sets of uh, amenities, two shower, two porcelain thrones, and then um, what else is two? There's only one bathtub though. Uh, yeah, so it's very convenient. So you don't, oh, two hair dryers as well. So we don't have to like fight for the toilet in the morning. Yes, although we'll only be here for one uh, night. So yeah, that concludes the, um, the room tour. And then uh, we also were told by Liana who checked us in that uh, we are entitled to the evening cocktail hour which starts at um, 5 p.m. right? And it ends at 7 p.m. So yeah, we'll share with you more when we go down for the evening cocktail later. After we have give you a room tour is the ceremonial bed test that we are going to do. The track count looks really uh, decent and uh, very comfortable and it's very neatly arranged. So I'm just gonna give it a try. Um, it's the soft and uh, firm kind of bed. Um, I think uh, it's pretty comfortable. We have actually tried their bed before. It's actually not too bad. So uh, yeah, tomorrow morning when we wake up, we will let you know about our sleep quality. We are now here at the Whiskey Library, which is just beside the lobby of the Club Vagabond. And I'd like to make a minor correction. The evening cocktail hour is actually from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And so uh, we will show you what the selection is like in a very short while. We are presented with a menu that looks like a, a plug. <laughs> so there's a selection of um, spirits, wines, beer, soft drinks as well as coffee tea. The Sauvignon Blanc is really very enjoyable. We like it very much. And while we are enjoying the Sauvignon Blanc, this is our second glass. Um, the evening canapes has arrived. Uh, so from all the way from nearest to me is actually the vegetarian tofu. And then um, this is, according to the waitress, is bacon. And this is spring roll. So there's only uh, three different selections for the evening canopy platter. Uh, but uh, fortunately, the drinks is free flow. And um, the Sauvignon Blanc, uh, once again, is really very tasty. It's about 8 a.m. now, and we had a rather good sleep. Uh, a lot of dreams, I think, because we had late night supper yesterday, so <laughs> so we had some dreams. Uh, but overall, I think the bed is rather comfortable. The room is quite um, nice. The, but the air conditioning, I'm not sure why in the middle of the night, it starts to get a little bit warm. Yeah. So uh, with regards to the uh, bathroom facilities, the water jet spray is actually very strong. The pressure is good. And also, uh, I think the hairdryer wise gym is rather satisfied with it as well, right? And the bathroom amenities actually uh, smells really good. So it has got that very uh, refreshing um, fragrance to it. And yeah, so now we are all set and ready to have our breakfast. So we are going back to the whiskey library and we will share with you more about our breakfast experience in the shop bar. We are here at the whiskey library for breakfast. Immediately when we were shown to our seat, um, the waitress was uh, very quick in giving us the drinking water. And after that, she took our coffee and tea order and then uh, also presented to us a menu that looks like that. So it has got um, various kinds of uh, dishes for you to choose from. Uh, the local dishes looks really good. Um, there's ginseng chicken porridge and of course nasi lemak and laksa which looks really appetizing as well. And of course the normal one. Oh, they have chili crab on the Yay, a lot of local flavors. And then um, I kind of we kind of enjoy the whole dining vibes actually. Seated over here just under the direct sunlight that is shining through, I think it's a very nice experience. It feels almost like uh, we are back in Paris. And then we are sitting outside in the Alfresco dining area. Our food has arrived. From the menu that I showed you earlier, um, we can choose one main course from 
the whole uh, list of selection. So I opted for the nasi lemak with the chicken. So there's no beef rendang today. And then uh, Jim opted for the chili crab omelette. Uh, also, we were given a food platter to share. Yes, and then um, we are having our second cup of coffee. We really enjoyed the nasi lemak and the chili crab omelette. It's really very nice. Um, and we even shared with the staff that the food quality here is really very, very good. Um, so despite um, only being allowed to order one main course, right, we decided to try the laksa. Uh, so we pay out of our own pocket for one more main course, is the laksa. So it looks really good. And then the prawns are huge. Look at that. Let me give a taste of the gravy. There's even chicken julienne inside and lots of fresh greens. Mmm, very nice. We have uh, completed the checkout formalities. It's very fast. Um, less than five minutes, I would say. And all in all, I would say that the stay experience is a really enjoyable one. Uh, like what Jin said, it's really a staycation for us to recharge because we don't have to spend too much time um, at the lounge or you know uh, doing other things that we want to do. So uh, just to let you all know, actually, um, very the Vagabond Club has got a gym, but it's across the road. Unfortunately, because of circuit breaker measures, right, it's currently not open. But just for your information, if you'd like to come here for a stay in the future. And then, uh, just as we were about to check out, we plan to have our lunch at the Whiskey Library because we know of the um, pop-up store by the Yellow Pot um, restaurant, which is uh, one which is uh, hemmed by one of the renowned chefs but unfortunately the kitchen is not open it's only open at 5 p.m. and now it's about 4 p.m. so uh, we had to go, go and settle our lunch elsewhere but all in all I think the Vagabond Club is really a very comfortable place for us to do a staycation and we will definitely recommend it to everyone who wish to get away uh, for a little short while for a staycation so uh, with that we thank you very much for watching this vlog and we will see you very soon in our next one bye bye